So you're setting up Windows 10. Now Windows 10 always wants you, and Windows 8 for that matter, wants you to sign up a, a user account with Microsoft so they can track you, no doubt, I don't know, conspiracy theorist and all that. If you don't want to do that, once you go to the step of setting up your account, what you have to do is click on create new account. And it signs you into Microsoft, or try signing you into Microsoft. Okay, now the trick is, it looks like you have to create an account. But, if you move the mouse, you get the scroll bar on the right hand side. Scroll down to the bottom, sign in without a Microsoft account. T O S H I B A will be fine. Since I don't really want to use name and password because I don't care. And if I could get that, click done. So now you set up Windows without Windows 10 without having to. Um, Create a Microsoft account. You can do the same, or almost exactly the same thing with Windows 8. But yeah, so this is running on an old Toshiba satellite thing. All that old stick is still there. Poor thing. But I've had Windows 10 running on this several times. This is the last um, beta or better edition, or whatever you call it. So I'll run it up and see how it goes. I'm going to run a few different programs on there. I'm going to infect it with viruses. Um, one of which being Crypto Locker, uh, and to see the damage it does and how fast it does it and stuff like that, so I can work out how to fix it. Um, all your normal sort of spyware crap that gets on there from, you know, downloading new torrent from the wrong place or whatever. So just, this is just a, a machine I beat around and learned some stuff from. I'm also going to put Watch Power, Watch Power from MPP on it, and. Um, to see if it runs and see if the interface works well or it's slow or fast or buggy or whatever and maybe provide some feedback and some tips on how to actually fix it if it does go south with Windows 10 giving that they're going to be giving it away on a whole heap of devices by the look of it um, even if you got a pirated copy of Windows they reckon they're going to give it away for free um, will it really be free I guess that's the question I mean what are they going to track? What are they going to? Um, it might be a, might be a. They might be taking the shot, and then the next one that they release um, might get rid of all the pirates. I guess all the pirates might out there might upgrade to Windows 10 for free, and then realise that they can't ever do it again. So who knows? Anyway, right, rate, like, subscribe, talk shit. I don't care. It's all good. Chat to you next time.